I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Mishima Dojo. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I like the colors. Oh, no, that's... Well, technically, that was right, wasn't it? So it's just a matter of connection. Oh, no. Yeah, true. He is a Mishima, too. And Horang is a Mishima as well. <laughs> the mid, mid, mid string. All right. I actually can't believe I'm like 18 cheese dojang and 18 open Horang lessons. So 18 plus 18 is like, damn, I'm bad at math. Uh, Frontier.exe is still processing while playing all at the same time. <laughs> Really, it's that late? I kind of thought I was really, really late. Not high walls, black. Oh no. 8 plus 8 is 16, right? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Why am I struggling with that? I know frame data. But yeah, there's no, there's no move in this game. It's like... What do you call that? Plus 9,000. I mean, usually if it is, we just say it's plus 9,000. And just don't press. Ouch! Here we go. Combo. The Quake. Showing off the Lars wall carry. Oh, yeah. Almost there. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Reach that? No, okay. Number four. Number four. Oh, no. The yeah. The buff Lars movement. <laughs> no, yeah. It's 16. It's 16. 16. I'm not dumb. It's 16. Damn, I'm underestimating all of it, am I? <laughs> uh, explain the joke. Because Horang loves Jin so much. He's obsessed with him. So that's why the, the community ships Horang and Jin together. And it's more of Horang like chasing Jin nonstop and then Jin's like, please let me go. <laughs> please let me go. Like that's especially in the Tekken 4 ending. And then in Tekken 5, it's all the more like, I'm chasing you non-stop. Fight me, fight me, fight me. <laughs> and she's like, no, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> there is no need to fight. Uh, that's why the Tekken 4 ending so iconic. I even made it a meme. <laughs> you ain't got one? Well, I do. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I kind of thought that would have caught. That actually could have been like a GS setup. Or a forward 3 setup. Okay. Yeah, okay. A lot of people really like staying on the floor. Versace on the floor. Ooh. I really gotta quit doing that. It's a bad habit of mine. Like, on hit, do RFF back four. Because that's only meant for high crushing. And if I'm plus nine, there's no point in giving up my plus frames for a high crush. I might as well go for a mid and work the information from there. Yes, the Tekken Bromance. It really is. <laughs> That's what it is. But more like one-sided Horang. Whoa, that was really far. So the extended hitbox on... What do you call this? Back 3 is that much. Nice. Not pressing there. That's very important. Plus 5 situation. Don't want to lose to that. Yeah, that's right. I know it's mid-mid. My body still tricks me that it's mid-high. Because, like, for years you've been ducking the second hit. And they didn't even change the animation. Because certain stuff, like Horang stuff, 4-3 got changed. Like, you can see the second the second hit's different. If you boot up, like, Tag 2 or an early version of Tekken 7, it's not the same. That should be right. Because it is a 13-frame low. Not unless it's... Oh no, I did the wrong combo. The wrong cheese. Yes, everyone's... <laughs> if you, yeah, literally you have to adjust. They're gonna stay on the floor. And then joins the tournament to prove something. Or some wild superpower exists and they're all fighting in between for it. Oh no, wrong punish. And you can see that with Tekken. Oh, he's fishing, he's fishing. Nice. Oh no. Ooh, it almost caught. That was like a tag. That's usually the tag to refloat. 
Like if the opponent's on the floor, which you didn't tag two with Huang, which you just remain in left flamingo, and then three three forward over and over again. Because if they do the wrong tech, they're gonna get relaunched. It still kind of applies in Tekken 7, but not so much. It is an option. Oh no, no frame skyrocket. Staying on the floor. Yeah, I could wait. Nice. That's how you get out. You have to challenge the whole thing. Nope. Yes, that's plus eight. Plus eight, I believe, yeah. Somewhere around that number. Usually, even if you don't know the exact number, you're supposed to know, like, the, the range of it. Nice. Keeping it small. Checking with the jabs. Okay. Dynamic two. I actually like that move a lot. It's one of the reasons why I actually played Lars for some time. But I did not. Okay. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Horang, Horang, Horang Cheese. Plus five. Plus one. Plus one. Okay. Two slices of red cheese for the KO. So that's game number three of this. Uh, so that's like three more sets. If ever. If anyone else wants to play like after Yaman. Let me know. Let the cheese know. Okay. I'm being very, very patient. Keeping the space. All right. Chipping with the lows. Switching sides. Losing the wall positioning. Oh, nice. However, gets caught. That's a terrible combo. Oh, that caught really, really low. Bad combo after bad combo. However, the cheese is in Frontier's favor. You have to pick your apples very, very carefully. What do you want consistent? There you go. Nice. All right. Oh no. Oh, it was for Oki. It was for Oki. Nice. FF1 plus 2. Keeping the space. Okay, so it's most likely wrong then. No, it should be right though. It should be 13. I'll, I'll double check on it. Like after the, the game. Because I know my lows were negative 13. That exact low he's blocking is negative 13. Oh, I'm losing a lot of space. He earned it really, really fast. Okay, nice. But... I'm still not... Oh, bad, bad. This is what I mean. I'm not fully warmed up mentally. <laughs> oh, no. I can see the spikes. Nice. One, one, one. Boom! Dynamic 2. It's exactly that kind of effect that I really love from that move. But it's like locked in stance. I was like, oh, I don't want to play another character with something cool that's locked in stance. <laughs> that's painful. I don't want to go through it. But a simple backdash just like that, just to get the wall. Very, very dangerous. The Quake in the wall yet again. What can he do to get out? There you go. Beautiful step into the Arc Blast. Let's go. He's going to show the wall carry. Unfortunately, drops the combo. However, still alive. Taking the F of 4-3. 30 seconds in, he's at a major advantage. However, getting chipped by the mid, mid, mid strings. While standing 2-1. 25 seconds left. Going for the mid high string. Frontier not ducking. Not awake yet. Here you go. While standing 3, that's lots of plus frames. And just like that, ending it with the sneaky, sneaky low. Very sneak. Sneak 100. Any character, but it's like more or less asking yourself how much work do you need to add in. But yeah, Miguel Steve is more or less slightly in Steve, slightly in Miguel's favor, slightly, just slightly. No, I, I got baited. Okay, down three four. Okay. So he's been doing the right punish. So it's either an internet thing or he's just slightly slow. Ooh, backlash! The Lars backlash. Here you go, wall carry, unoptimized, but still gets the positioning. However, loses it all. And just like that, 30 seconds in, ending with the bicycle kick. But yeah, 4 four and back 1 are going to be your best friends. 4, back 1, DF1 are all your best friends in the Miguel match. Ah, Steve matchup is Miguel. And your really, really strong backdash. Because Steve likes to keep you in. Okay, oh, he didn't stay at the floor there. Okay, DF1. Woo! You're telling me it didn't low crush at that point yet? It do be like that. Horang stuff doesn't exactly low crush ASAP. That goes that goes also the same for his flamingo armored strings. 
What do I mean that by that? It's like this RF is back four and RF is back three. Oh, RF is back four and LF is back three. They cr they low crush, but it takes time for it to low crush. Oh, a little bit eager there. However, dropping the combo back in the middle of the stage. D quick pushing it. He wants to get that real estate advantage. Down back four while standing three, taking the plus frames. However, risks it all. Gonna lose a major investment in his HP. However, drops the combo. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is going, he's going all in. He's like, nah. Oh, there you go. That's what I meant. That was the tag to Oki. And in Tekken 7, that translates to a lot of damage. If I did it right. So now that's 4-1. Well, any character can beat Miguel. Any character can beat Steve. Any character can beat... Well, I'm not exactly seeing it. There are instances where you're, he puts that low ear in that position, so... I more or less duck in those situations. Because more often than not, it would be that low. So I'm not exactly reacting, reacting to it sometimes. I just know it's a typical option he's willing to do. In those situations. In referencing to like the life bar and like... If he's in danger or whatnot, or if he wants damage. So he's been punishing the lows correctly, but I guess it's just too slow. Or the internet's in the way. But I've been punishing more or less correctly, and I've been getting it in, so... It's probably a speed issue. Ah, okay. Like, right now, he would want damage. So anything big goes in. So you literally think about that, like, all the big stuff could go in. Ethan loves cheese. See, just like that. Hello, 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 hello. We were playing the first set of the Cheese Dojang. We had some warm-up games, but now... And a really, really long warm-up portion. But now we're playing some actual games with Cheese Dojang. This is the first set. Yeah, it's the Quake. It's got a really cool Lars custom, don't you think? It's really, really cool. I like it. I like the color scheme. It's very simple, but very effective. Ooh, beautiful! But that's not, that's not launch open, ladies and gentlemen. DE2. Okay. True boy and bike? Nope. You'll be eating lows more than anyone else, then that means you're not protecting your legs. You have to protect your legs. Nice, nice indeed. Oh no, the mix. Okay. <laughs> oh, good games, Suzy Quake. Good games.